Hello, um, I saw lots of videos out there talking about Spring Boot, Angular, security, lots of articles um, talking about authentication and most of them actually are outdated or wrong or contain bad, bad practices. So I just wanted to give a short example on how to do it. As you see here, there are two endpoints, and let's refresh. Uh, unsecure endpoint and a secure endpoint. If I fetch secure, I get an answer, and if I fetch unsecure, I get forbidden. And now just let's register. It's very simple. Register, and now log in with the data. Sign in. And now if we fetch secure, we get an answer from the secured endpoint. And if I want to log out, I just click in here, log out, and now it's forbidden again. Uh, I will share this code on GitHub, so the link will be in the description. And now I just will talk really shortly about implementation, which is a very short implementation and you can build around a lot and improve it and if you have answers just uh, ask me in the comments about how to improve this application with session manager and token management and whatsoever and also i just uh, um, yeah have roles in here but not implemented yet so if you have issues with implementing it it's uh, I can help you. So let's start in the front end with the uh, service in here, just the endpoints for login, registration, fetching the secure endpoint, fetching the unsecure endpoint. Very basic Angular. And in our app component, we just um, subscribed to this endpoint, just take one so we unsubscribe after that and if we log in we get a response back which contains a header with a key aus token and we can take this token and store it in our local storage if we improve that make an own local storage service to store and fetch the token from your local storage but that's just for demonstration and to keep it simple in one file. So you get the token and then you have, uh, after you have received the token, you can send this token with every request you make to the backend and therefore you can use an interceptor. So here is the auth interceptor, which intercepts every request you do. In here you get your local, um, your auth token from local storage and you set it to the header with authorization or whatever you want. You can take every name, in my case it's authorization with the bureau prefix. Then you have only thing you have to do is to register that auth interceptor in your app module or in if you use a standalone Angular in your configuration with providers provide HTTP interceptors, use class, the interceptor class you have. And now if you send a request, let's see it in here on the network and let's sign in and fetch. Let's make it and you see in here is authorization and Bira and the token. So very very easy now that's sent to the backend let's talk that's all the front end stuff you need so very easy now go to the backend it's a little bit more to do in here so in here we have uh, the let's go to the endpoints for registration secured unsecured endpoints just giving back some json and you can all look it up in the repository further. User service, just uh, saving the user entity. I used Hibernate in here just because it's a most common uh, framework for 
uh, communicating with a, with a database, you have your int entities, very basic, just username, password. Password is stored in here, encrypted. Roles are in here, and there's also connection table, but in, I haven't set up any roles. So that's for that. Now to the fun stuff. Let's see. We start with security config. Security config is in here built for Spring Boot 3.1.0. So the newest version uh, at point of this video. I have the helper class JVT util. I have a user details service and a token filter. And we will look that up soon. So I have a bean uh, for the password encoder. I have a bean for course filter, which just um, added in here. And I have a bean DAO authentication provider. You can use other authentication providers or authentication manager or whatever. I use the authentication provider. And you just set your password encoder here. You set your my user details service here and you return the authentication provider and it's done. And you have the most important bean in here, security filter chain. And in here I have another filter, uh, user authentication filter, JVT Ute and the DAO authentication provider's input. And I said, this is uh, the URL for the login. So the login is handled in here. We will see that in, in a moment. And then I just add this filter here I do all the request stuff, which um, the routes are permit, <coughs> and any other uh, route uh, needs authentication. I have, as I said, no role sent up here. Session management stateless, so we um, want to fetch some data or save some data. We authenticate, and after that, the authentication is gone because it's stateless. And then the last filter is JSON, a JVT token filter. That's in, in here, the authentication happens. So let's watch these filters. Um, let's start with the authentication filter, user authentication uh, filter. Now let's, uh, yeah. So, Let's start with yes, your authentication filter. In here with JVT Util, the authentication provider, and all it's doing is reading. Let's format it so it's easier to read. Let and all it's doing is mapping the data to the user login model with the object mapper. You if, because I set it as uh, a post request if you just send it uh, via request params you don't need to do this mapping you can just access them easily and then you get your model and you try to authenticate with the username and the password so you need the DAO authentication provider authenticate uh, set create a new username authentication token with the username and password and here is a successful authentication. When authentication is successful, the so login is successful, you return um, an auth token to the, uh, at the header with the actual token which is created in the JVT token util. So this util, cla util class, you uh, see, secret, <laughs> you can s secure it a lot more. So just uh, for demonstration, just set secret you want to see for. So should it be configured somewhere else, or should use some um, yeah, pr public private key or um, methods. And here you can let's fix it too. We can set the subject issuer can be whoever how long the token lives. Let's remove this comments here. They're pretty useless and with claim roles list of admin and the secret here is the method for validation use the methods for get username and get expired at. and you can add more methods um, 
to yeah handle or work with the token. Now let's go into the JVT authentication, JVT token filter. In here, that's this is a filter that's uh, called every time we try to um, reach out to our backend, and you see in here we get the authorization header. This is, here is authorization like we had in the front end in Angular. Bira is not starting with Bira return. Then we get the token. We validate the token, and if the token is valid, we get the username from the token you know the username of the authentication service and then we do the same again username pass authentication token and authenticate our user set the security context and now we can uh, proceed uh, through authenticate uh, endpoints that need authentication and now let's look in here load by username we get in give them here the username we fetch the user from the database if the user does not exist, we saw an exception. If the user is there, we map it to the user from user details. So all we do is create a new user, it's the user details user, and yeah, user details user, and we set the username, the password, and the roles, which we don't have right now in the database. But if we have roles, we set them and it's very important to add this prefix role with an underscore so it will work. If you don't add that and just give the role as admin, it won't work. And now I think that's pretty much all you need to uh, re register, login and authenticate your request to the backend. So if you have any questions or want to see a more advanced version of, of this, let's, then yeah, just ask me in the comments and I will show you how to work with roles, how to handle sessions, how to invoke sessions, how to make it more secure with uh, comparing IP addresses if a token is, is stolen and some, somehow from with a totally different IP address or from a totally different region is trying to use a to this, this token so we can block him because it's impossible for him to <laughs> yeah so you have to uh, log in again but he can't because he stole the token and he actually is not knowing the password Okay, that's all. Um, just copy the code, play a bit around with this. I will, as I said, I add the link to the GitHub with the code. Have a nice day.